Hey guys, thanks for joining me with another episode of Still Growing. If you're new here, I'm Judy and welcome. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for coming on back and spending some time with me. And guys, I so much appreciate it when you're not only subscribed, but also when you give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, then that whole um, Google, YouTube system, you know, work to send my video out. Otherwise, it just doesn't get distributed as it should. So give me a thumbs up and um, let's get into it. So um, I was just sitting here doing my meditation and I was thinking that this is a good time to do a video. Um, and I was been sitting here for a while, so my, <laughs> my legs are a little uh, tight. But what I wanted to do um, a video on is whenever I'm listening to, you know, motivational speakers and coaches, you know, the one thing that I find that they're always saying is, for you to stay away from negative people. And absolutely that's true. But I never hear anyone talk about, you know, the negative person that's within, you know, how do you deal with that negative person who is within and you can't exactly, it's not your friend that is a negative Nelly. It's not your, um, parents who, you know, do not support you. It's, it's you, you are the demon within yourself. That's is the person that needs to change, needs to regenerate yourself. And so I think I'm going to call this video, how to regenerate yourself. Um, because that's what's, a, that's what I would like to talk about. How do you get rid of that negative person? who lies within and who you find after trying for um, months, years to try to be a positive person, to try to motivate yourself to um, be able to get things done in your life. It's difficult, you know? And as you know, the things that we see and the things that we hear and the things that people tell us affect us not just um, psychologically, it affects us cellular and it affects us spiritually, right? And so I wanted to look at how that happens, the attention that we pay, to, first of all, to negativity. And I know it usually starts from when you're a child, you know, do you have a motivating and affectionate um, giving parents or do you have parents who love you from afar? You know, they want the best for you, but they would say things like, um, you know, not beheaded child, um, you know, you're too dark, you're not smart enough, whatever. You know, people say these things um, to children, uh, uh, sometimes not because they're trying to be mean, but because they themselves have been through many hurts, right? And so um, it just, it, it get passes along. But when it does, you know, you grow up um, it, with, with all those feelings inside of you and you become a very negative person to yourself. And of course, you um, pass it on to how you relate to other people. When you're negative, it, autom it changed your whole internal system, your whole cellular system. That's why it's important to speak positively, positivity into your life and to speak positivity into the people that are around you, the people that you care about. A matter of fact, um, you really should just be um, speaking positive, whether it's someone that you care about or not, either say something positive or say not, nothing at all. Because what happens is that whatever comes out of your mouth is generally what is in your heart. Right? You want to uh, be speaking positive because um, when you speak positive, it affects your whole neurological system. When you're saying um, positive, self-affirming things, that um, causes your, that produces dopamine in your system. And as you know, dopamine, um, among other things, it, that is that happy, um, positive, it produces that positive, happy chemical that runs through your veins that makes you feel pleasure, that makes you feel pleasure. 
And so that's what you want to be doing in your life instead of concentrate on negativity. But sometimes what happens is that you've been living in negativity for so long that even if you're trying, you're, as you were saying at the, a few seconds ago, even if you're trying to be positive, it will take a, a while. And that's because when you are negative, when you're living in, in um you know, being ugly to people and being nasty to people and and dwelling in jealousy and hatred and uh, all these kind of um, negative behavior that too affect your whole cellular structure because just like when you're you're um, concentrating on positivity and you're producing producing a cellular structure that is positive when you're doing um, negative things you're also producing those negative those negative structure in your system in your body and so and so they build up over time and it becomes as if you have a demon inside of yourself and that's why I always say you know that's why I truly believe that here on earth is where you will find hell on earth. You'll find heaven and you'll find hell right here on earth because you have that ability to create that. You have that ability not only to create that in other people's lives, but to do that in your own life. That's why sometimes when you come into contact with someone and they're just mean and they're just nasty and they would rather go out of their way to do something to hurt you or someone else than just just walking away. It's because they are hungry. They are craving that negativity because internally the system, their, their system is craving that um, dose of negativity. Their, their internal system is craving that, that um, dose of negativity because that's what they've been feeding themselves all along. When you dwell in that place of um, being jealous of people, of being envious of people, of being wicked to people, um, you begin to change your cellular structure of who you are and the things that make you up as a person. And in effect, as I said, you become a, 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 a demon, right? You become a devil. And that's why it is so important to understand spirituality. And that's why it's important to understand the whole concept, uh, the whole concept of Ma'at. And to understand the principle of Ma'at was created by our forefather for a purpose. Because we are not, we have the ability of naturally being able to to be good and to be bad. The choice is ours because that choice was given to us. Because we have that ability, you know, some of us may choose at some point, depending on the circumstances in our, in our lives, to choose the negative. And if you choose the negative, you have to be able to find your way back. And so that's what Ma'at does. You know, Ma'at, with the, the 41 principles of Ma'at, talks about not cheating, not stealing, not lying, all of these things which, um, generally speaking, you no one have to teach you these things because they're supposed to already be inside of you. You're already born with these inside of you. However, if you do start leaning to the side of, of evil, you do need a roadmap in order to find your way back. And because we live in a society where you know, television is always trying to reprogram us and teach us um, to hate ourselves to a large extent because when we hate ourselves, when we hate our hair, then we spend, you know, all this money on chemicals to change it or to weave to change it. And when we hate the, the, the color of our skin, then we spend money on whatever it is to change. We, we hate our bodies, we get surgery and so on and so forth. So the whole system of money making of, of, um, media is basically to teach us to dislike who we are so that we can uh, spend money to find our way back to who we are, which you never, you never do because every single time there is something new that's been thrown at you. So with Ma'at, 
there is a reason why we don't lie. We, we don't lie not because we don't want to get um, caught. We lie. We don't lie because that's a negative. And when you do that, that creates, that changes who you are as a divine, loving, godlike person. So we don't um, steal and we don't do all those other things, which you're all probably more familiar with in terms of the Ten Commandments, right? That's why we, we, we're nice to people. That's why we say please and we say thank you. We're, we do wonderful, positive gesture to people. And so that's why your greatest love on earth, I believe, should be yourself. You can be your greatest supporter or your biggest enemy. So that's why it's important to uh, do affirmations and to always make sure that you're speaking positivity in your own life. I mean, it's important, as I said, for, you know, to treat everyone with love and respect. However, for yourself, it's most important because if you don't have it in your heart, you're not going to have it in your brain and you're not going to have it in your cell. And so your body is not going to crave you to continue to, it's not going to be craving for you to create more love and affection and giving and uh, loyalty and trust and all of that good stuff. So you have to make sure you take care of yourself, that each and every day that you're loving on yourself, that you're saying wonderful things, that you're treating yourself the way that you would treat a baby. Because some, some people grow up without getting that affection. And unfortunately, that's how it is in life. Some people just didn't get what they need to become a um, productive part of society in terms of um, being self-sufficient in order to be a whole, happy human being. And if you don't have it inside, then you can't give it out. So it's important to take care of yourself. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning should be to, you know, just pour loving and affection and um, gratitude on yourself, or gratitude for um, not just being who you are, but also for the things that you have in your life. That's it, guys. Um, until next time, peace and love. Bye.